Hello, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective. This is the first episode of uh, EDC gear highlights and hot spots. Highlights are where I go over the things that are working for me and hot spots is where I talk about the things that just really haven't been. Ignore this new background. I've been doing some sign making so I was just holding it in place while I route the letters in there. Um, <clears throat> so we'll talk about highlights, a little bit of both, and hot spots. So starting out with the highlights, sorry, that is a hot spot. Starting out with the highlights, S90V Native 5 is just an awesome knife. Um, uh, I have a, a video out on uh, um, kind of my overall thoughts on S90V. Uh, warning, it's all anecdotal. I didn't do any fancy testing or anything with it, but um, my favorite stainless steel in terms of just overall performance is my my exact M390 Para 3 from Spyderco. Not not any other M390 knife, that exact one, just to be clear. And this one trades punches with it, it's right there. So I love having another knife in stainless that's in that class of performance. So I love the native design. I have a review on that where I talk about it. So love the design, love the steel. This has just been fantastic. Next is the Benchmade 940 in a 20 CV. It's got a regrind on it down to eight, ten thousandths behind the edge. Um, the 940 is just such a fun, pocketable design. He gets such a nice long blade and he gets so much hand on it. It's round. It just disappears in the pocket. <clears throat> For a guy that's not doing a lot of cutting or hard work anymore, <clears throat> In my day-to-day -day job, like, and this is still good steel, but, like, not having the super high-end steel isn't really affecting me very much, uh, honestly. And so just the cutting performance and the blade length has, and the pocketability and just fidget factor, all of it, this has been really great. Um, and, yeah, I do a lot of, you know, projects around the house and work like that, but, like, I don't really use my knives anymore for it. I'm using you know, things like that. I don't really use my knives to do those type of jobs. Um, so, you know, the, the hard use just isn't really happening on these guys. Uh, next up, Leatherman Wave. Um, uh, this has been ending up in my pocket lately. Like, I just drop it right down into my jeans. I haven't been uh, rocking the belt carry just because, uh, you know, when I've got a lot of weight on my belt, it kind of pushes into my back, and my back has just been a little weird for the past good while, so I just don't really want a bunch of weight on my belt, and just the way it hangs in my pocket somehow is different. And yeah, I've just been dropping it right down in my left pocket with my keys, and um, it's just been really nice to have. Um, a big part of the reason why I switched over to it and this is going to be silly, was really to have this diamond file. Um, it's getting wintry up here. It's getting dry. The skin around my fingernails just starts flaking and dying, and it catches on clothes and all manner of things and just drives me absolutely bananas. And this is a nice little nail uh, manicure tool, the diamond file. So that's a big reason for it. Um, and then also having uh, just, you know, the normal drivers in my day-to-day -day has been pretty nice. Uh, over top of the limited driving capability, especially Phillips on the compact. And so that's why this is kind of in the middle here, is uh, these this combination right here, the Victorinox Compact and the Knipex Cobra XS, has been amazing. These guys have been killing it. This is what's been in my pocket very consistently for a long time. Having this kind of plier gripping firepower in your pocket is just bananas. It's awesome. Freaking love that. And the compact, like it is my favorite knife. It is my favorite multi-tool. And the only reason why it got kicked out of my pocket was mainly this file on there. Is just not cutting it. Like, every day this is driving me crazy. Could I just keep, uh, you know, a, Cla a Victorinox Classic on my keys? Yes, I could, and that would solve it. But I just felt like dropping the um, 
Leatherman Wave in there. And it's just what I had in my work bag. So that's why it's not like the Charge G10 Earth, which is my favorite Leatherman. Um, and so this is a highlight in that this combination right here is like amazing. I love this combination. That's the highlight. Hot spot is, is just keeping my fingers going is not working with the accoutrement on here. And so it's been displaced for like two days now, but I carried that pretty much straight for like months. <clears throat> so highlights moving on to hot spots, the Pioneer X. So really love this knife. It's second only to the compact for Victorinox knives and the Rambler, I guess. But in terms of the size package, um, hot spots are, I cannot get over the thicker geometry of this over the compact. Like it doesn't seem that big of a difference, but it's like a constant pain in my rear, uh, using it. Um, that, and then this, the, the lack of, uh, the scale tools, the pen tweezers and a toothpick, um, just keeps kicking it out. But I did rock that for a good long while as well. Um, the little uh, Leatherman uh, Squirt PS4 here. This combination was working so well for me. I was like, man, I wonder if I could uh, just try one of the mini Leatherman um, plier-based ones and see if that will do it for me. Um, and it's just, long story short, it didn't. I don't like the blade. I don't like the drivers. I don't like the scissors. I don't like much about it. Um, I don't even know if I like the file. Just not really my jam. Good little tool for sure, but just not really my jam. And the final hot spot are these super bulky keys. And this is for the work pickup um, that I'm assigned. And so like, it's not like I do whatever I want with it. And they're just so bulky. Auto starter. Um, this is the toolbox in the back. This is just the tag, a little doodad um, uh, that we keep on there. And then the keys itself. And they're so dang bulky that I haven't put like a Victorinox Classic or my Rambler on there. And so it's kind of driving me crazy not having the Rambler, which is a key part of kind of this duo is that Rambler for that Phillips driving <clears throat> and some other pieces. But um, that's other hot spots, these big freaking keys. I might just put, I've got a really like the, the Alox Classic. Um, and that seems just so small and skinny. I might just stick that on there and have life be better for it. So maybe I'll do that. But that's kind of my hot highlights and hot spots. Great knife performance. Uh, just a great overall tool. Oh, yeah. And I mean, and I still need the pliers on a pretty regular basis, too. Um, so great performance there. Fantastic duo. Just taking care of my nails and fingers so it's kind of dumb but that this is just like the champions right here i freaking love that and then these guys just aren't quite doing what i wish they were doing right now for me so that's all i've got for today have a good one bye